Welcome to I God Today, your daily reflection. And I'm Father Sony Sebastian, a Divine Word Missionary Priest. Today we celebrate the feast of the Apostles Simon and Jude. Apart from their names in the Gospel, there is very little we know def definitely about these two Apostles. Simon is called either the Canaanite or the Zealot by the Evangelist. To distinguish him from Simon Peter, he is called the Zealot in Luke and in the Acts. It means the Zealous One. Zealot also indicates membership of a strict Jewish sect. There was a party called Zealots famous in the war of Jews against the Roman occupiers at that time. But there is no evidence they existed in Jesus' lifetime. After Pentecost, Simon, like several other apostles, is not heard of again in the New Testament. However, there is an abundance of legends about his subsequent life and the final martyrdom. So one eastern source gives Edessa in Mesopotamia as the place where he died, but a western tradition affirms that he first preached in Egypt. He then was joined by his fellow apostle Jude, who was in Mesopotamia, and they both were they both went to east of Persia. Here they were martyred at Sufyan. In one story, their throats were cut, and in another, Simon was sawn in two, like the prophet Isaiah. In pictorial depiction, Simon is usually symbolized with a boat or a falchion, an axe-like sword, allegedly the weapon by which Hathan priests cut him down. Jude, called Judas, son of James, is mentioned by Luke in his Gospel and in the Acts and also in John. He is commonly identified as Thaddeus who appears in the list of apostles in Matthew and Mark. He is also believed to be the author of the letter in the New Testament bearing his name. In more modern times, Jude has acquired the reputation as the patron of hopeless cases, as attested by expressions of gratitude in Catholic devotional periodicals. The origin of this devotion is said to be that no one would pray to him because his name was so like that of the traitor Judas Iscariot. Only people who had tried every other option would in desperation turn, to, turn towards him. The relics of Simon and Jude are believed to have been brought to St. Peter's in Rome in, in the 7th or the 8th century. The pictorial depiction of Jude's usual emblem is a club, the instrument of his death, otherwise he holds a ship, while uh, Simon holds a fish. This is perhaps because, as a cousin of the Zebedee brothers, he was also a fisherman. Let's, as we celebrate these great apostles, let us pray that these two great saints of the church will keep interceding for us. Amen.